What's up guys, this is Kensuke from KensukeArt.com, author and illustrator for Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies. Happy New Year to everybody, hope you guys are safe and creating cool stuff. Today we're talking about folders. Uh, it's a useful organizational tool, which I use it all the time, and I think you should use it too. <laughs> so today we're talking about what is it, why is it so important, and how do we apply it to our workflow in Clip Studio Paint. Again, what is it, why is it so important, and how do we apply it with our artwork at Clip Studio Paint. So without any further ado delay, guys, pull out those drawing tablets, and here we go. So folders, what is it? Well, it's a useful organization tool, and if you're familiar with Photoshop, it works very much the same. Uh, you can actually activate this folder icon and, and by clicking on this third, one, two, three, third from the right, if I click on it, this folder icon appears. And when you're working with so many files like this, it helps you categorize these full, all these layers into groups, which you don't, you aren't ready to collapse into a single layer yet. So for example, here I have uh, my foreground, sorry. So here I have my foreground, you know, you have your middle ground and then you got your background and I'm not quite ready to uh, collapse commit to this because I you know there's some things I still want to edit you know add more detail add more value darkness and everything like that so why is folders so important well for the pre for the for the reason that I just mentioned you know you want to organize these things in such a way that it is um, you can later go ahead and reference back to without having to click oh wait no, that's the foreground. I meant to click the background. I can't remember which it is. And the tragic thing is sometimes you start editing and drawing on the wrong layer you didn't intend to. And then before you know it, you're out of undos and you're kind of stuck or you're stuck with that mistake where you have to redraw that or waste time trying to fix it. It's a mess. Don't go there. <laughs> um, so that's why it's so important. And here's the fun part, guys. How do we apply this to solving our problem. Well, there's two ways to do it. One good normal way and one super awesome way, <laughs> which is my way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you gotta pick one what's worked for you guys. This is the first way. I'm gonna create three layers. You know, I wanna name one for uh, foreground, let's say. Now, and this is gonna be my middle ground, MG. And last but, not, last but not least, this is going to be my background, BG. Right. I'm going to go here and click, drag. You see the red rectangle that appears? That means that it's inside. So if I click here, let's make sure. Yep, sure enough, it's in there. And I'm going to do the same with my middle ground. Uh, layer 14 through 10 and I'm going to put that in here now you you can't you can't and you can just do a shift click hold on a shift click and toggle all the layers that you want to include but I'm purposely doing this to show you the second way to to make way for a second way uh, which I think is um, far more time efficient and as you see here, you have all these layers. And if I click this arrow right here, it's gonna to hit to the right, which means that it's collapsed. You know, expanded, collapsed. And let's make sure it's all in there. I'm gonna hit the hide icon. Yep, it's all in there. Last, and, and last but not least, the background. And click here. All right, and it's all in there. Middle ground, foreground, looks good. So that's the first way. Now, here's the second way, and you're gonna see why I like this so much. I click on the layer that I want, and I'm gonna go here and say, layer, create folder, and insert layer. 
And what that does is it automatically creates a layer and inserts that layer inside of that new folder, I'm sorry, new folder that I just created. Uh, and I can go ahead and name it foreground. Collapse that. My shift, hold on my shift key and click on the, uh, the, the layers that I want. Hit layer, folder, insert layer. And as you see, it's all in there, middle ground. Now, in fact, I like this so much that I added it to my command bar right here where it says uh, create folder and insert layer. And I, I recommend you guys to do that too because it's just made it more easier. What I do is hit that and it creates my, my folder with all the layers inside. And I'm gonna hit background. So there you have it. Now, if I wanna go ahead and edit, like I say, this character right here in the middle, all I have to do is, ah, I know it's in the middle ground. There you go. And now you can go ahead and start, you know, adding all the wonderful details that you want, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And once you're done with that, I can collapse that. So useful, so easy to use. It just takes a simple moment. I mean, sorry, simple couple of seconds to set this thing up right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn that notification button on to green so you won't miss a beat. So happy new year, guys. Stay safe. Until then, in Christ's peace. Bye.